Get that man some oxygen. None other than Ski the East ringleader, Alex Kaufman, showing us how to get it done on a Wednesday. In fact, second, or is it third Wednesday in a row? Springtime has been kind to midweek. Another five plus inches of snow in the mountains of northern New York, Vermont, and parts of Canada. Uh, this was Jay Peak Resort. Oh my goodness, the glades. Uh, caution, glades do come with vernal pools. We're reporting to you live from underneath an actual Doppler radar. Taunton, Massachusetts on assignment at the National Weather Service where the crystal ball says we're going to have a little meltdown. Thursday, Friday, wind and warm air and rain that is done Friday sunset and then it gets colder but not too cold. Saturday is a nice day. It's in between, in between departing April showers and here comes the April Fool's joke. A polar vortex is coming in on Sunday with bombogenesis. What's that? That's when low pressure deepens so rapidly the wind picks up. You get a mini blizzard going on in the mountains from New York, Vermont, northern New Hampshire into Maine, southeastern Canada. And that is going to be harsh Sunday afternoon. It comes with several inches of snow and hurricane force winds at the summits, followed by record cold air on Monday. And as soon as the cold starts to lift out, guess what happens? Starts to snow again. By Monday night, it is snowing north of Interstate 90. Uh, the rain snow line is going to be probably in southern New England. So the ski areas that are still open, if you got snow last couple of weeks, you're getting more snow again Sunday. Uh, Monday night and Tuesday. What about this Wednesday? Looks good. We'll probably be in between systems. And then it's going to ramp up again. Could snow and or rain again next Thursday and next Saturday. This is no April's Fool, April Fool's joke. It's a Wednesday with no wind, but uh, other than that, and maybe Saturday no wind, expect a lot of shifting wind. That's what brings in the fun weather. We'll see you on the slopes. again. It looks like Tuesday is a powder day, mostly well north of Interstate 90. There is going to be a rain snow line.